We use the internet for everything. Watching videos, saving files, playing games, planning trips. But what happens when you don't have access to the internet? What happens if you don't have access to the internet for a prolonged period of time? Do you have the applications that you would need saved in your digital vault? This is the Digital Prepper, and today we're going to be looking at some important applications that I think you should have saved in some sort of digital vault in case of a internet outage or some other SHTF scenario. Before we get started, there are some things that I would like to mention. One is that all of these suggestions are of my own opinion. Please leave a comment down below if you can think of any other better applications to keep saved in your digital vault. Two is that we're going to be mostly talking about computer applications However, this could be repurposed for mobile devices as well. And finally, I would recommend using open source programs than ones that are closed sourced. What open source refers to is that the program itself is publicly accessible, meaning that if you do have the skills, you could have access to the source code and would be able to use or edit the code to do things like fix bugs or even potentially make something new from the current code. With that being said, let's take a look at some applications. One of the first kinds of applications that I would say is needed would be some sort of audio slash video player. This would be something that would make it so that in case of a SHTF scenario, you would be able to access any of your media files such as movies or music albums that you might have saved in your digital stores. This could be for entertainment, or you might have things like recipes or how-tos stored in a video format. An example of this type of application would be something like VLC. VLC is a free and open source multimedia player that plays most media files or DVDs, audio CDs, and the like. This program can be used on multiple platforms, which includes Windows, Linux, and Mac, as well as even mobile devices. The second kind of application that I think would be needed would be some sort of document creator or editor. This could be like Microsoft Word, but personally my go-to is actually a little program called LibreOffice. This, like VLC, is a open source program, and what makes this a great go-to is that it's basically Microsoft's Office suite, but free to use. It even has the other programs equivalent to Excel and even PowerPoint. It also has applications that you could use to create diagrams and databases. Now, you're probably asking yourself, well, why would I need this when I could use paper and pen? Well, there are a few reasons. One is that some preppers like myself do keep an inventory of items that they have prepared this can include numbers of food stores and water and supplies. Using Excel to do this task makes this extremely simple. And with the use of calculations and the ability to store large amounts of information within the spreadsheet is much better opposed to paper and pen. Also, these files can be saved on removable storage media like USBs and external hard drives as a backup in case something happens to your main device. This is a little bit better than having it written down on paper where it could more easily be destroyed. The third kind of application that I would recommend is actually something to assist with storing and securing your data. This would be a compression application such as 7-Zip, which is again open source. These programs are, in my opinion, really important for compressing larger files and folders, such as your video and audio files. By compressing your files, they also take up less space on all of your devices, and 7-Zip also has the ability to password protect your files so that they can also be secure, so that's a bonus. The four kind of applications that I would suggest is in regards to entertainment. Now, Prepping things like food, water, and ways to stay organized are very important. What's more important though is keeping a positive mental state. 
With low morale, it becomes hard to stay focused on your goal of getting through whatever disaster that you might be facing. And having entertainment, whether it be junk food or games, is very important to keeping your mental state well. Now, speaking of games, which would be the last kind of application that I would recommend to have in your digital vault, Normally, when you think of a computer game, you think of applications like Steam. But this is not actually what I would recommend, as Steam, for the most part, requires you to be online in order to play games. There is an offline mode that does work for the short term, but eventually it tries to phone home or ping its server that's on the cloud in order to reobtain your login information so that you can log in. If it can't do that, then you would lose access to all of your games. That being said, you also have to pay for games on that platform as well. An alternative to this would actually be to visit a site like archive.org. A link will be in the description. This is an internet archive of loads of games as well as different kinds of software, movies, and even old television shows. In terms of actual software for playing games, there are also things called emulators, which allow you to emulate a specific platform, like a Game Boy for example, or a Super Nintendo system. And with that, you will be able to also download and play games on that emulated platform. Finally, here's something that you might not have thought of, but depending on the scenario could be very important, and that's having backups of entire operating systems. Now you might be thinking, that sounds like a lot of space to keep for having entire operating systems. Well, depending on what operating system you want to save, that's not necessarily the case, but you can also save open source flavors of Linux if needed. Now, despite what you might have heard about Linux, Linux has actually grown to be a lot more user friendly and basically runs the same kinds of programs that other operating systems like Windows run. You could also obtain a version of Linux that runs entirely off of a flash drive. So it's actually a portable, potentially kind of disposable drive or operating system that could be used on any computer that you find. Now once you have your applications and data, be prepared to store them and make sure that they're secure. See our previous video for more tips and tricks on how to do this. All of these applications are important to have in just the regular scenario, let alone a mild inconvenience of the internet going out for a few days. In a SHTF scenario, I would definitely keep all of these and more in my digital vault to be able to be used. Let me know what programs you would keep saved in your digital vault in the comments below. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you learned something, or if you have any digital prepping questions that you would like addressed in a future video, comment down below. More digital prepping to come.